What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ozzy and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about an issue that I've been having with my iCloud storage. Now, if you're an Apple user and you use your phone, your iPad and your devices all the time, you're gonna run into that problem of your iCloud being filled up and what do we do? Well, there are a lot of solutions online and there are lots of different ways that you can back up your files, but I found something that I've been using for a while that has been working great for me. And that is this. Now this is the Apple Airport Extreme. I was able to connect this into my system and it is an Apple product, so it works great with all of the Apple ecosystem. But you might be asking, what in the world is this? Like what is an Apple Airport Extreme? So what is an Airport Extreme and why is this so special? Well, the Airport Extreme is a line of Wi-Fi routers that Apple called Airport. It did release alongside the Airport Extreme and the Airport Time Capsule. Now what's special is that this is going to allow us to create our own home network system, which is going to help us save room on our iCloud, which is everyone's problem nowadays because five gigabytes of storage is definitely not enough unless you're buying the upper tiers. Now, if we take a look at the back of the Airport Extreme, one of the important things to note is that it's going to have a USB type A port. It's a 2.0 speed, so it's not super fast, but with this port, we're gonna be able to connect our external hard drive and connect wirelessly with any of our Apple devices. But you still might be asking yourself, how is this going to save storage on your iCloud? So one day after my iCloud storage got filled up, I was presented with this. I either had to delete videos and photos off of my iCloud to never be seen again, or I can move my entire photos library onto an external drive where I can go ahead and free up space on my iCloud. But what happens if we can connect that external drive to our Airport Extreme and still access those files wirelessly? Well, that's exactly what I did. And the results were pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so as you saw at the beginning of my video, I was showing you guys how to plug in this to your existing router at home. Now it's super simple. All you're gonna have to do is plug in your ethernet cable to your router on the port that you see right here. And then you're gonna jump over to your computer and set it up with airport utility that you're gonna find on most Macs. Let's jump into our computer really quick and let me just show you really simple how easy it is to plug this in and set it up for yourself at home. Make sure that our Airport Extreme is on setup mode. We're gonna go ahead and open up our Airport Utility here on our laptop. And then what you're gonna see is your network. We're gonna go ahead and set it up by pressing this button up here where it says other Wi-Fi devices. And then we'll have our Airport Extreme here get set up. Now this is gonna configure all by itself. Now the great thing about the Airport Extreme is that it's just gonna set it up for you and you won't have to do any of that hard setup stuff that you get with other routers, which is why the Airport Extreme and the Apple ecosystem works so nicely. And here you have it. It's all done. We'll go ahead and click on done and then you'll see your Airport Extreme pop up here in your Airport Utility. If you have multiples, you'll see multiples, but here we have our setup already and it's ready for us to use. Now in order for you to access this network, we're gonna to have to go through the Wi-Fi. So here on the top of your computer, you're gonna click Wi-Fi and you're gonna to go to other networks. And here you're gonna scroll down till you see your network and here we have it, our Wi-Fi. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see that it's now connected to that network. And you'll see it right there. It's connected to my network. And honestly guys, that's it. It's really that simple. But let's see how we can use it by accessing our hard drive. Once you connect your external hard drive to the Airport Extreme, you'll see it pop up in the finder here. So I'm just gonna click on this for an example, but if you stored all of your pictures and all your stuff onto that hard drive and you plug it into your Airport Extreme, you're gonna see it under here on your networks. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our network. Here is our Airport Extreme that we just set up. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then here you'll see your folder 
with your hard drive on it. And then here, we'll be able to click and give it a second to load and you'll see your stuff. Now I have here um, some of my other stuff, but I'll click on my photos, which I created a folder. And then here, you're going to see your pictures that you saved on from your phone. So once you have everything on your hard drive, you can see all of your photos and you can go ahead and scroll and see, here's another picture that I have. So you can go ahead and see all of your photos that you put into that hard drive wirelessly. And this is not on the cloud, this is on your home network, which is actually pretty cool. So that's how you're gonna set it up on your computer. But what we're here for is how we're gonna access those files on our phone or on our iPad. Let's take a look at our iPad and let me show you how it's going to look and how you can also access those files on your iPad. It's going to be very similar, but we are going to need an app. Um, the app is called File Browser Go. And what that app is going to do, it's going to allow us to connect to the network because Apple doesn't let us do it on their files app. Now, this is a one time paid app, but it's totally worth it. I think it's like $5 for the year or something like that and it definitely gives you $5 worth of value, hands down. So once we download that app, we're going to make sure that we are on our home network again. So we're gonna go ahead and log into that Wi-Fi. We're gonna scroll down until we see our network and here we have it, Oscar's Wi-Fi network. And then once you're access to the network, we're gonna go ahead and open our Files Browser Go app. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. And then on the side here, here we're gonna see yours. Okay, and then once we're in, you're going to see your drives here and now you have access to all of your files exactly how you saw on your computer. Now a cool thing about this app is that it integrates with your files app and once we click on that one, you're going to go ahead and see the files browser go here in the locations. We're gonna go ahead and click on the network and then here you're going to see that full, you're going to see that folder with your airport extreme. And we'll go ahead and click on that and again here you see your passport and then you see all your documents and your stuff. Here I have my photography. And then here again, in the Apple, in the iPad and the Apple app, you now have access to your photos. And you can save these to your um, iPad or you can download them to your iPad. If you're working on projects, you can go ahead and put these on your iPad and then load them to your hard drive and then access them on your computer, which is a very cool thing. And this is very useful because you won't have to store all of your photos on your iCloud all the time now. And you can use them throughout all of your computers, all of your Apple devices by just being in that network through your Wi-Fi and accessing them through your computer or iPad. So once I had this all set up and I used it for a while, I have to say that I really have been enjoying using the Apple Airport Extreme. It's something that Apple still supports in their ecosystem and it's easy to connect with all of our devices. And the only limitation that you really get on this is kind of like the speed. You get a Wi-Fi 5, which is not super fast, but it's fast enough. You can improve the speeds by having a solid state drive versus a hard drive or a regular hard drive. But this has been working well. Now I've been able to save money on my iCloud subscriptions and I've been able to expand my storage just like I would on iCloud with all of my devices. Now, this is a discontinued product by Apple. Um, I hope that Apple brings back something similar, which I'm not sure if they will, but let me know in the comments your thought on that and if Apple should bring this back. Now, another thing that I've also been using that I kind of briefly touched on in the video is the time capsule. Now, this works the same way as the Apple Airport Extreme, but it actually has the hard drive inside of this one and you can access and back up your computer and really format the hard drive in any way you like, but essentially it works the same way. Now I know there's other solutions out there for saving space on your iCloud, but this is something that's been working for me and I've been really enjoying it. Let me know in your comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.